if you're someone that has a closet full of clothes and still feels like you have nothing to wear, sis, this video is for you. Keep on watching. <laughs> My name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if you love hauls, lookbooks, vlog, then sis, you found your tribe, subscribe. So today's video is going to be the first of its kind for my channel and it's going to be an outfits of the week video. These are like some of my favorite videos to watch because I always leave these videos feeling inspired. Not only will I be sharing with you the outfits that I'm wearing, I'll also be sharing tips so make sure to stick around all the way to the end because it's going to be value packed. And if you like videos like this, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button so I know to make more. So I don't know how it is where you're at, but the weather's just been all over the place. It's been like 55 and rainy, 65 and sunny, 75 and rainy, 80s, 90s, all over the place, right? And so the outfits in this video is gonna kind of run the gamut from super summery to more early spring. So this first outfit, we're gonna start off with this sweatshirt. I got this sweatshirt from someone who was selling on Instagram. I've had it for about two years or a year and a half. If I can still remember her handle, I will link her in the description. But it says it's God and his goodness for me. And I really like that um, because God is so good. I mean, he just is. Um, anyways, let me not go and get emotional. So I, what I did is because it's a traditional oversized sweater, I went ahead and tucked it into my bra to make it a little bit cropped. And then as you can see, I got the tie dye version, which is basically like a bleach dye. And so it has some flecks of orange in it. And because of that, I decided to pair it with this orange mini skirt. These skirts I've been loving so much because they're like a bias cut satin skirt. They're more of like a maxi, mid maxi on me. And maxi skirts are totally in right now. We're coming back in this season. And so I thought it would be fun. So I paired it with the skirt and I wanted to show a way that you could wear this skirt a little bit more dressed down because I know I featured this skirt in my summer haul video and I had dressed it up, right? So I paired it with that skirt and then I threw on some dad sandals, quote unquote, these were a find last year from Walmart. They were like 10 or 11 bucks, if not nine, super affordable. You can get that Lux look for less, sis. You can get that Lux look for less, all right? So that was it. And then to finish it off, I just threw on my everyday bag right now, the Coach Tabby. If you were thinking of getting this bag and you wanna get this bag, but you plan on wearing it like every day, my recommendation is to go for a darker color because the leather's really soft and the lighter colors, if they like scratch or scrape anywhere it doesn't look good <laughs> That's the best I can say, it doesn't look good. But they do come in like some, so many yummy colors right now. I've seen like a pistachio color, like a blush color. Of course they come in like traditional black, green, red, etc., etc. And I think the minis in those fun colors is really cute because you're not likely to wear those bags every day. But if you're looking for it to get the style in everyday style, I would definitely recommend going with a darker color. And so that is the entire look. And I will link this entire look for you in the description box down below this is like you know something quintessentially easy that you can just wear on the day that you're running errands so what is my style tip for this look my style tip is you can turn any shirt you want into a crop top simply by tucking into your bra okay I would also say that bias cut skirts are the best when you want something that kind of shows off your shape but you don't want anything clingy that may show off your midsection because of how they're cut they know they just skip all of your curves so really help to show them off but they also skim the midsection so they're not you know drawing attention to that area as well so I've really been having a thing for oversized shirts lately I have a couple in black and now I'm a couple in white and now I'm adding colors and one of the first colors I added was this pink color it's kind of like subtle pastel neon and because that's the color that it's giving me I decided to pair it with a fitted bodysuit watch my big bus videos I talked a lot about you know pairing fitted tops with like 
toppers because it really helps to de-emphasize the bosom and this is a perfect example of doing that. I picked up this bodysuit like years and years and years ago like probably either before Forever 21 got a plus size or like around when it just got a plus size. Like that's how old, that's how long I've had this bodysuit. I paired it with my go-to pair of jeans right now. These PLT jeans. I got this about a year ago if not longer and it was just literally sitting in my closet because when I first got it I didn't love the wash I was gonna return it and I just never did and now I'm so glad I didn't because I'm obsessed with it it's the pair that I'm currently wearing in this video I like the fact that it's high-waisted enough and then it also comes in at the waist but I feel like I have enough room in the hips and the butt my girls if you're pear shaped definitely PLT and especially if you're tall is the place to go for jeans okay and pants and things like that because if you look at the model that they always use that girl is pear shaped to the T and so from her you can kind of get a gauge as to how the clothing you pick up will fit on you and I'm not really even a pear shape I'm more of like a spoon shape but that's another talk for another day so I picked it up I paired it with that and then I finished things off with a heel now nah, I'm not even gonna lie to you like I'm not even gonna finesse y'all right I only can wear these heels for about 45 minutes to an hour after that I want to take them off so I also pack with me my cute little wrap sandal from Madewell and I finish off this look with my wrap bag with the rimless sunglasses that currently like I'm in love with right they have kind of like a purple pink tint to them which really helps to tie in the entire look so what is the tip for this look the tip for this look would be if you are someone with a bigger bust who is looking Looking to minimize the size, layering is your best friend. The trick is to pair a fitted top with something oversized to help to de-emphasize the width and the size of your chest. So the next outfit here is kind of like the look I wear on days where I'm running a bunch of errands and I don't even want to think too much. So I started off with my Sphinx leggings. These are the faux leather ones. And then the weather, like I said, it's been all over the place. And this quilted, I would, I would call it a quilted jacket that I picked up from H&M recently has come in clutch. Like I have worn this sucker to death. Okay. It's kind of giving me like a baseball shirt sort of like silhouette. I actually picked this up when I was searching for bomber jackets. And what I love about this quilted jacket is that it has no hardware, no colors, nothing. Everything is matte, all black. And when I'm rocking all black, I like it to be all black, okay? That's what I loved about this. I just paired with my go-to high neck tank top from Target. I absolutely swear by these tank tops. I have them in so many colors and they come back every year. So I'm gonna look for them and link them for you in the description and then I went with just simple black sneakers and to finish things off my everyday crossbody and a pair of sunglasses and voila so my tip for this look would be that when you want to make athleisure or loungewear look sophisticated is to go monochrome something about the all black outfit really helps to elevate this basic outfit now I threw on the bag to kind of like add a little bit of contrast and then the sunglasses really finished it off. So if you're not in the mood to get dressed, you know, you just want to keep things really low-key, two-piece sets and monochrome looks, sis, those are your best friends. So this next look is going to be this gorgeous pink dress. If you've seen my summer haul video, you already seen me talk about this dress. I got it in both pink and white. One thing I love about this dress is that it can easily be worn dressed down or dressed up. So on this day, I decided to dress it up and I paired with a pair of my gold platforms. You guys have seen me wear these platforms to death. They are like my favorite find for the season shoe wise. Okay. And then I I just kept things monochrome and I went with my pink mini crossbody bag. This bag can like fit my keys, my lipstick. So it's a great bag to wear on events. And what I like about it is that it's a crossbody. So my hands are hands free. You know, I can hold a drink. I can chit chat. I can mingle, right? And I just love the way the two different colors of pink and the fact that it has gold on it really just ties the entire look together. Let me know your thoughts on this look. Is it a yay? 
yay or is it a nay? I spoke a little bit about this in my outfit planning videos, but when I go to events, I really want to feel my most comfortable because when I feel my most comfortable, I am my most confident, right? And this outfit is a perfect example of that. I started off with this fit and flare dress, which I've talked a lot about this season about how fit and flare is like my go-to silhouette right now because it's just, it comes in at the waist and it flares out everywhere. It's easy, it's breezy, it's light, it's effortless. If you know me, you know that I am all about looks, okay, that are versatile and looks that can go from day to night. And one look that I always go back to when I don't know what to wear is going to be a blazer. So as soon as I saw this gorgeous orange blazer on the LQ website, I was like, add to cart. To finish things off, I also reached for my sunglasses, but they're almost like a nude pair of sunglasses. So my tip for this look would be to always have your go-to outfits for when you're in a hurry, okay? In those moments where you just don't know what to wear, maybe you're feeling a little subconscious, you're feeling a little bloated, always have outfits in the back of your mind that you know that anytime you put on, you're gonna feel comfortable, you're gonna feel confident, etc. etc. The theme of this video should be comfortable and confident, okay? Because that is always what I aspire to when I get dressed. So, which tip did you find the most useful? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying this video so far, give this video a thumbs up, okay? And this is a good time to share this video as well. Not only does it pay for it to our community, but you may not know it, but somebody you know may be searching for this exact video. So, let's talk about this top because I know I know you guys want the tea. So this top is actually a recent find and I'm gonna link this top in my entire outfit, okay, in the description of this video. I'm wearing it here in a size 1820. It's going to be linked on my LTK. Now if you're wondering, Chi Chi, what is LTK? It's an app that I use to link all of the items that I feature. But don't worry, you don't need to have the app. <laughs> you can just click the link under shop my outfits and you can shop this top and this entire look. But while you're there, while you're there, I recommend you download the app and follow me because like I said, I link 99.9% .9 of all the outfits that I wear, that all of my favorites that I feature. I even spill the tea ahead of time on what I'm shopping for, okay? So you can get it before it sells out. And after you follow me, if you're looking for other fabulous creators to follow, I actually have a blog post where I list 20 other phenomenal, fashionable creators to follow on that app as well. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe, check out this video and this video. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.